We're covering Colorado first tonight. Colorado Attorney General Cynthia Kaufman has announced she opposes awarding nearly $2 million to a man wrongfully convicted of rape. 62-year-old Clarence Moses Eel spent nearly three decades in prison for the 1987 rape and beating of a Denver woman. The jury in a 2016 retrial found him not guilty of that crime. CBS 4's Melissa Garcia is live at the Colorado AG's office. And Melissa, the Colorado Exoneration Act requires Kaufman's approval. And Kathy, that is approval that Kaufman is not giving. A spokesman today here at the uh, Colorado Attorney General's office says that the victim steadfastly maintains her identification of Moses Eel as her attacker. Well, Kaufman also believes his case may not meet the required burden of proof. Outraged. Attorney Eric Klein is outraged at the Colorado AG's opposition to his client's request for compensation. Moses Eel's 1987 rape and beating conviction was overturned in 2016. The Colorado Exoneration Act awards $70,000 to the wrongfully convicted for every year spent behind bars. More than 28 years. More than 28 years. 28.5. For Moses Eel, it adds up to nearly $2 million. I don't think you'll find a person in this world, if you walked up to him, Cynthia Kaufman or anybody else, and said, hey, I'll give you $2 million to spend 28 years in prison. Not a single person's going to take you up on that offer. But it would offer some desperately needed help, Moses Eel says, for his grown kids and 12 grandkids he couldn't be there for for so long. It was a tragedy. It's very poor and devastating. I want to try to secure their future. The compensation would also waive state college tuition for Moses Eel's two adult children who haven't been able to afford higher learning. It's a financial burden. It's a stress. Uh, situation with them. While A.G. Kaufman's office was not able to provide an on-camera interview, staff said in a press release that because DPD destroyed the case's DNA evidence, there's no way to know whether it would have corroborated the victim's identification of Moses Eel, also saying, quote, acquittal is not equivalent to finding of actual innocence. Frankly ridiculous, because anybody who looks objectively would say, why would he fight so hard to get that evidence tested unless he knew this is my path to freedom? Kaufman's opposition means that later this year, taxpayers will pay for a jury trial to determine Moses Eel's compensation. His attorney last month also filed a separate civil rights lawsuit. He says that is to hold the city accountable and also to make sure that no one else has to suffer the injustice of going through a wrongful conviction. We're live in Denver. Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. Thank you, Melissa.